Yeah. You'll figure that out. Yeah. Cut it six inches, pull it up, and tape it. Tape it to the to Yeah, the so the yurt is his own fucking little animal. And at that point, your yurt is built. At that point, four or five people can lift it up, move it around to your camp, set it down where you want it. Oh, so you're build, taping the build them wherever you want. Yeah. You're going to be able to lift it up and move it and place it. So the yurt, the cone's on, the walls are done, everything's done. It's a yurt. You move it, you set it in place. You take a rope and you make a big loop that goes around the roof. Got it. Big oh, rope, big loop around the, the yep. yurt. I'm going to make a big long loop. I'm just going to take the two ends and do a simple knot. Okay. It's just a single overhand knot. You're going to make a big loop. This is going to wrap over the top of the roof cone. You want to make it long enough, like pull it around. This goes over the top. Make it long enough to where you can reach it on all six sides. Okay. If it's too high up, you won't be able to get to it. Yeah. Okay? So this is around the roof cone. You have six sides. Got I'm it. I'm going to take six other ropes. I think it's like YouTube should do this. Like, uh, this should do that. This should have taught the people who are teaching it on YouTube. Do you yeah. get that? No, no, That's crazy. Right. You're going to take six other ropes, and you're going to go... That's what I thought you were going to do. Normally in the middle, but at the door, you're going to go one side or the other, obviously. Yeah. And you're going to go down to rebox. You're going to tie it tight. Got it. That straps it down. You know, you get your loop around the peak. You got six ropes coming down each side. What kind of pressure are we talking? Not much. Not much. Nope. No need for it. Nope. Wind comes, as, what as happens? As long as the rope's not, like, fucking sloppy. No, it won't be. will be fine. Yeah. And you'll, if, it, if during a dust storm you see your yurt going like this, cool. tighten the ropes up. So I thought people were making hinges with tape. And oh, God, dude. Don't do that dumb that. shit. I've done that. That's, that's what Camp Danger is talking about now. No, do not do that. Do not do that. Do I, won't, not I won't. I won't. I um, won't. I'm going to trust another, you. Trust me. Another tip. Put on this. As these ropes come down, they're going to want to crush into your yurt. So the same way that we're going to tie your... Well, only the one is really touching the yurt, right? No. Each one of your side wall things is going to want to crush into your yurt. Probably isn't an issue if you're there for a week. If you're there for a month, it makes more sense. But everywhere the rope comes down. Hey, I have a question about you. Just put a piece of cardboard. Yeah. That keeps it from cutting in. Yeah, I've done that with like our, my RV and stuff sure. like that too. Yeah. Chase structures, what have you. Yeah. Uh, I use Artists, like what do you call it? The noodles, pulled noodles and shit like that. Cardboard, cardboard works just as well. Whatever you got, you know, you put some fur on there. How come when you go there?